Hello and welcome. Um, just a really quick update this. Um, I haven't posted anything up for the last two or three weeks or so. Um, and one or two people, in fact quite a few, have asked me, you know, where, what am I doing? Why haven't I put anything on? Uh, and the reason is twofold. Um, number one, uh, there's been a bit of a health issue. Uh, and number two, I've had problems with the uh, Bubbly 2's engine. As far as the health issue is concerned, a bit of a saga really. Um, I was sent um, a bowel cancer screening test, um, possibly because of age. I think when you, once you get past 65, and I'm well into my mid-70s now, so I think once you get past 65, every so many years they'll send you one of these, these test kits out. Which I, Anyway, done the test and sent it back. And I then got a communication from the hospital to say that they needed to make some further investigation, which was a little worrying, to say the least. Um, and, and would I contact the hospital, which I did. I telephoned the hospital, and this was a Tuesday. Um, and the head nurse, or lady I spoke to, she said, yeah, we've done, you know, we've done the um, test that you've sent in. We've looked at that, we've analysed it, and yes, we need to make some further investigations um, and we'd like to come into the hospital for a colonoscopy and I said fine thinking well okay you know we'll make an appointment and whatever whatever um, and then she said could you come in on Friday you know, bearing in mind this is Tuesday and I'm thinking oh you know what with everyone saying that oh the waiting list for NHS you know situations is, is horrendous and you have to wait for months and and so I thought well okay I'm only four days <laughs> So that added to the worry somewhat. Anyway, I said I would go, so I went into the hospital on the Friday morning and uh, had the colonoscopy. And uh, during that, they took a couple of uh, bits for analysis of biopsy, uh, which they sent away. Um, I had to wait, obviously, for the analysis to come back from the uh, laboratory, which I did. And fortunately, it came back as negative, so that wasn't a problem. Um, Especially because a few years ago I had prostate cancer, which I'm again fortunate that I've got through it and no problems. But you know, when you've had uh, something like that, then obviously you take these things more seriously if anything crops up now. So, uh, yeah, everything was fine from that point of view. But they did suggest that uh, I went for a, a full blood test and analysis as well. So I made an appointment for that, went back and had a complete full check of all the bloods. Um, and looking at the form they were filling in, there was a huge great list of all the different tests they were going to do. Anyway, they, they took my blood and I had to wait four or five days for the results to come through. And yeah, it's all come back. It's good. Um, quite why there was a little bit of a panic in the uh, early stages of all this, I'm not really sure. Um, but the end result is it's all clear. I have no worries. I have no problems. So brilliant. Um, so that's as far as the health side goes. Um, but because of all this was going on and because I'd been away for a few days to see friends before this, I'd actually come into uh, a mooring um, and, you know, for safety really the reason I was going to be away, then I was going to be in hospital and whatever. Uh, and so it's peace of mind the boat would be safe. Now, during all this period, I hadn't started Bubbly 2's engine at all. I didn't need to. Um, so having got through all the health bits and pieces and got all the all clear, it was great. And I was looking forward to getting straight back out onto the cut. Went to start the engine, nothing. It just would not start. It turned over okay, but it just wouldn't fire up. Now, I'm not a mechanic uh, or an engineer by any stretch of the imagination. I'm quite handy and try and do most things myself, service and etc. Um, and I checked everything I thought, you know, would possibly be the problem i checked make sure the batteries obviously were fully uh, charged i checked the electrical connection and the power going to the fuel pump the power going down to the glow plugs i removed the uh, fuel filter made sure that was clear there was no water in it there was no gunk in it and things like that and it all seemed good but the engine wouldn't start so i then started doing a bit of research talking to one or two people and they said, well, you know, have you checked the glow plugs? And I said, well, yeah, I've got plenty of power going to the glow plugs. And they said, no, but have you actually, you know, checked the glow plugs? And I said, well, no, not directly. I assumed that I've got power going to them and it should be OK. So I then checked um, the glow plugs and 
curiously, all three glow plugs were not working. Um, it's obviously quite sudden because they were working. Or the engine was firing up fine a few weeks back. Now it just wouldn't start. So, uh, as I said, all three of the glow plugs were, in fact, dead. So I spent two or three days actually trying to locate uh, a new set of glow plugs. It was really difficult. I mean, my engine is quite an old engine. The Bubbly 2 was built back in 1988. And it's a little tiny three-cylinder engine. Um, and I don't think it was ever an engine that was fitted into a car as such. So, you know, going to motor factors and you know places like that didn't prove to be successful. But I did eventually manage to find some. They're not original Isuzu ones, made in China they're guaranteed and whatever so I ordered a set and they come through very reasonably priced in fact they only cost me 20 pounds for a set of four and I only needed three so yeah it was uh, very economic from that point of view but I fitted the glow plugs in and lo and behold having done that made it, made sure everything was back together again put turn the key made the glow plugs come on a little bit fired the engine it started first time so ugh, that was a big relief as well Seems strange that all three of the glow plugs went at the same time. I don't know. Maybe they do. It's the first time it's ever happened to me. But uh, everything's back up and running now. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, getting back out on the cut, uh, which I'm hoping to do within the next two to three days. And then I can start cruising, getting some more video, and then uploading some more. So, yeah, that's basically what's been happening for the last uh, few weeks. Um, for those that have, you know asked uh thanks for your concern it's much appreciated but things are all good so there's no problems from that point of view so as i say, i'm going to hopefully get back out on the cut within the next couple of three days and then we can get back to some sort of normality so thanks again it's just a very quick update and uh, uh normal normal service will be resumed quite quickly i hope thanks very much indeed thank you